written script, um, not a 15th century one, but a Victorian one. How did it come into your possession? Accidentally, um, my husband was an antiques dealer, right. and he brought home a copper um, one day, and obviously hadn't looked inside, because when we opened it, it was full of interesting things, right. but that was the item that interested me. 1865 is the date. Uh, Belinda de Trafford, what do we know about her? Um, I understand the family um, lived in Manchester and um, that she was the daughter of the first baronet. Right. She remained a spinster all her life and left this prayer book to a younger brother. Okay. Um, I think he died first. Right. And perhaps that's when the book was lost. Okay. It is absolutely stunning. I mean, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of uh, piece of artwork. Harking back to the medieval times, mm. uh, she was a devout Catholic, um, and uh, this is typical of a sort of very similar to a book of hours. So it's a prayer book uh, with these uh, devotional prayers and these beautiful illuminations and these wonderful miniatures. Uh, you know, there are several of them large full page ones which is really a delight as well as the the borders which are surround you know surround each piece of calligraphy with fabulous sort of creatures birds and rabbits and mythical beings like dragons and things like that absolutely exquisite um, and if we turn to some of these other pages you know the color is extraordinary it's been really really well preserved uh, and this is all done by hand she did all this work uh, and you know, here we have uh, a saint uh, with this beautiful border, burnished gold, very typical of, uh, of that Victorian revival where they hark back to the illuminated manuscripts of the 15th century. It's absolutely chock full of these wonderful miniatures, full page miniatures. So here's uh, Mary and Joseph and the, and the babe. Um, and on this final leaf where she presents the book to her brother, there's a little photograph of her as sort of memorial for him to remember her by uh, four years of painstaking work to accomplish this absolute, it's a real little masterpiece, it really is absolutely gorgeous in a spectacular binding, again reminiscent of a medieval manuscript. It has commercial value still as a, as a Victorian piece. I think if it came up for sale you'd easily be looking at somewhere between six and eight thousand pounds for it. It's absolutely gorgeous. The, the work involved and the, the, the artistry is absolutely first class. It's a really stunning piece.